Спасибо, господин председатель. Thank you, Mr. President. We would like to thank the uh, Special Representative of the Secretary General on West Africa and Sahel, Mr. Mohammed bin Imchambas. We thank him for the information he provided. We share the concerns which were expressed by Mr. Chambas. They have to do with the challenges that many countries in West Africa, and Africa, especially the Sahel, confront. The region is literally encircled by terrorist activity as well as inter-ethnic and inter-community conflicts and organized crime. Throughout the course of 2020, we received tragic news about uh, loss of life as a result of bloody acts of terror. Unfortunately, the beginning of this year was no exception. Uh, as a result of an attack, uh, civilians in Niger lost their lives as well as French servicemen in Mali. We express our condolences to the people of those countries and express support to all of those who are fighting terrorism in the region. A new and very dangerous factor for the security in West Africa is the uh, coronavirus pandemic. It, uh, strikes randomly on the countries which are well-to-do and vulnerable. And it brings down social services, uh, schools, um, m medical facilities are overburdened. Um, only uh, those who are interested in further destabilizing the region stands to benefit from that, namely terrorists, the terrorists and other such elements. We're pleased to hear that many countries in West Africa managed to contain the spread of the epidemic, and, but it is obvious that the consequences of uh, COVID-19 will leave a lasting impact on the economy. As the countries in the region have shown that even under the pandemic, African states and uh, public institutions, with rare exceptions, have um, managed to accomplish the task in front of them. We expect, therefore, uh, that what is planned uh, for the first half of 2021, namely the elections in many countries in the region, will be democratic, transparent, under law and order and with a strict respect for the, sovereign, for the national sovereignty. Interference of outside actors into these processes is something that should be excluded. UNOVAS has in front of us, uh, in front of it, a large scale tasks, help uh, with resolving regional conflicts, participate in political mediation, and also help strengthen uh, institutions uh, and implement the integrated Sahel strategy coordinate uh, also uh, for other UN entities on the ground. And the effectiveness of UNOAS work hinges on to what extent they have a working coordination with such regional organizations as the African Union, ECOWAS, uh, G5 Sahel, and the Lake Chad Basin Commission. On some issues, including piracy and the Cameroon-Nigeria border, um, UNOVAS uh, should uh, cooperate with uh, the southern uh, um, counterpart, uh, the United Nations Office in Central Africa. After the closure of UNIOGBIS, following the events uh, in Guinea-Bissau, something that UNOVAS alone will have to do. Under these conditions, uh, we uh, think that the Security Council sanctions on Guinea-Bissau under Chapter 7, which are only provided for when there is a threat to international peace and security, are absurd, and we call for their gradual dismantling. Mr. Chambers, Russia welcomes your personal commitment and efforts aimed at helping countries in West Africa, the Sahel and Lake Chad Basin, in helping them overcome current challenges. And it is without doubt that the results of UNOWAS work is something that deserves the highest praise. I thank you. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation.